Hello sportsmen. Hey, we just completed a very successful outdoor fair in, at the Livingston Conservation Association. Of course, we had a special guest on Saturday. This guy right here. Do you recognize him? That is Rob Trot without a beard. He shaved it off. Well, I don't know if this improved his shotgun shooting any, but he sure shot well. You're going to learn about Rob Trot, the fair, and a lot more. Stay tuned. I'm Fred Trost, and you're watching The Practical Sportsman. Oh, hey, man. Up. So here he is, Rob Trot, at the Outdoor Fair. Yeah. Incognito. That's right. You're not copying now going to the mustache like me. Well, yeah, I wanted to be just like Fred. <laughs> Do you, you know the, you, you got to get Rob's face on this one because I want to ask him something. <laughs> Have any of you seen his stationary, you know, as a letterhead? You know what he has across the top of that? He has Great Lakes Outdoors, the show that... Keeps you there. No, takes you takes outdoors. Takes you outdoors and keeps you there. And keeps you there. Does anybody mean, does that mean anything to anybody? I don't know. Is that a, is that a reference to maybe like the recipes we've done on the show when we are in no, the studio? No, no, <laughs> You're lying, Rob Trott. You're lying. <laughs> no, no. Yes, it is. Nothing to do with you at all, Yes, Fred. it is. No, yes, no. it is. <laughs> no, you're, now, let me get this right. Uh, Great Lakes Outdoors, the show that takes you outdoors and leaves you there. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you mind if I did a slogan? No. Nope. Um, watch Practical Sportsman, the show that takes you outdoors and brings you home. Huh? That, that's true. Empty, <laughs> empty handed, right? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> yeah, have you have you ever gotten skunked out fishing? Well, absolutely. Have you? Absolutely. How come you never put on TV? Because we never get skunked when I'm on TV. Oh! <laughs> we don't. You know that could be true. That's true. I can. Really I could be the one guy living the life. <laughs> who drags the skunk with me. <laughs> you I'm are. Gonna have to, we're going to have to go out fishing together, and I'll show you what it's like. I think that would be good. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll show them what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to have a good time. We're going to do some shooting now. You pretty good? No. This is the one that's pretty good right here. Well, I can tell. All day long is all I've been hearing is, Sue, beat him fishing. Now, yeah. if she beats me shooting, <laughs> I don't know. Come on up here, Sue. <laughs> Sue Cheryl. Exactly right. Okay. <laughs> Two first names. Right. Okay, but you're with Rob mm -hmm. in Great Lakes Outdoors, and we're going to do a little uh, shoot-off here. We're going to put this microphone down and go to the shotgun mic for our shotgun shooting. Nice. You want to go through uh, each of the different stations? Sure. And give it a whack? Yeah. What, what do you have, Kim here? The bear. Yep. This is the guy behind the camera yep. on Great Lakes Outdoors. Yeah, usually I'm behind the camera, just like uh, John and his brother. But John will not carry shells for me. <laughs> he won't? No. <laughs> well, I'm going to use these. Oh, are you? oh, you're going to use them. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's, let's, let's give All it a try. Right. All right. Give the... Now, well, you want me to shoot first? Of course. Okay. It you doesn't matter. I'm, I have. Okay. We're, and we're going to keep score on this. Oh no. <laughs> we are. Yes, we are. We'll just do. We'll just do two shots on each each one. All right. Do the rabbits first. Do rabbits. Okay. You want to do rabbits or birds first? Whatever. It doesn't matter, friend. You've already warmed up. This isn't fair anyway. Warmed up. Warmed up. I've, I'm I heard you shot three out of ten. Of hey, 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 hey. That's my story. <laughs> I know, and it was a story, too. <laughs> and I choose not to tell it. <laughs> it was a story. You did better than that. No, no, I didn't. No, that, you're right. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. So what? I get skunked. We put it on TV. I shoot three out of ten. You think you can do better than that? No. Oh, yeah. This is not at all. Two on report. Two on report. <laughs> okay. okay. This is a shoot-off of all shoot-offs. The Practical Sportsman versus the Great Lakes Outdoorsman. We take the Practical Sportsman first. Oh, please let me hit these. Go ahead. Down, you put your money there. Oh, no! There's two misses. Now, tell me I'm not a gentleman so I don't make my guest feel tacky. I appreciate that. Okay, here we go. This, this could be a real mistake, John. No, no. I thought it would be nice to have him at the fair. <laughs> well, I get to tell you when? When? You know about Go that? ahead, Gary. Oh, right. yeah. Hammer time. So what? An hour later. It's just, a, it's just a game. It's just a game. We don't care. No. Sue? No. Come on, Sue. We're going to... That was pretty good, Rob. Ah, uh, wasn't that good? Oh, jeez. When it get... turns to smoke, that's good. That's good, okay. <laughs> well, that's practice? impressive. No, this is impressive. <laughs> I know that. These will be smoke. Well, I'm impressed. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sue, come on, let's kick some butt here. I'm practice. <laughs> Pull. 
Hey, all right. Hey, go. All right. Good shot, Yeah. Actually, Clay's isn't as fun as it used to be. The game is... <laughs> no, really. It is a, a dwindling sport, and it's no wonder. It really isn't that much fun. There you go. I get to hold the mic. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is your show, too, right? I know it. <laughs> we'll do the birds now. Sure. Ball. Oh, this stinks. See, I have to settle down. <laughs> Ooh, I like that idea. <laughs> you know, people have no, been no, using that No, no, I got gun. my two, Gary. We're going to do it by the rules. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Get two birds, though. Ball. You know, he shoots oh, them pretty oh, fast, too. Oh, God. Fred, you're in trouble now. No, I'm not in trouble. Uh -huh. No, hold it. No, 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 no. Let's rethink this whole thing. Wait a minute, give me two more. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What? No, no, this, I got an idea. Oh, another one. I got, no, no, no. <laughs> Come to Fred Trost's Outdoor Fair to see Rob Trot's shooting show. That's pretty cool. I like it. That's pretty cool. We got a new star of the shooting show. Doesn't bother me a bit. Okay, good. Okay. Cool, cool. Good. I like cool. this. <laughs> See, you gotta always try to turn it into a positive, Rob. <laughs> uh, well, you do a good job of that, yeah, Fred. Oh you boy. really do. Lots of practice. Lots of practice. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's play like we have a tie. <laughs> well, that would be play, wouldn't it? Here you go, sir. <laughs> Start your own show, please. <laughs> All right. Well, here we're with here with Fred Trost, and uh, he ain't doing too good. And Rob over here, he's like whooping his butt. But you know, what can I say? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here's where they're coming from. All right. And they're going to be coming down at a hard angle. Oh, yeah. I'll take my Thank two first and miss them. Okay, I'm going to miss them on purpose. No, you won't. Oh, now we're it won't be on purpose. It won't be on purpose. <laughs> no, but you see, if Rob is really good, he'll hit these two. Okay. Oh, go ahead, Fred. See, they're really hard. They're hard to shoot. But they broke when they hit the ground. <laughs> hey, I thought I, sh I thought you shot both of them. You did pretty good. Thank you. I Thank seen you. that. My kind of guy. <laughs> I gotta admit. I gotta admit. He's a dang good shot. Ball. He is. Whoa! 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 Hammered him. Well, <clears throat> here's the deal. Next year at the outdoor fair, two things you can count on: Rob Trot at the shooting show. And second, we're going to have to pay him. I just got the feeling. We're going to do the teal. I'm going to take two shots, and then Rob is going to shoot till he misses, and we'll all count how many, how far he can go. The guy's good. Yeah, pull him. Well, I guess I'm not as bad as I thought I was. You just beat me. Yeah, right. There we go. Have to shoot? You have to shoot. Ah, come on. Oh, this barely redeems. I missed the rabbits. I missed the easy ones. All right, now listen. I got to work with the guy, okay? Take oh. these guys. I'm going to miss these, John, just to help him out, okay? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Why? We because these people are counting on you. You have an image to uphold. Come on. Pull. What is it about that, that first one? I'm just, you know. <laughs> what? You're better than you were making out to be. You were, you were sandbagging on me. No. No, seriously, you're a good shot. Not bad. Well, what would you say? You, you could have hit all of those on a normal day. Yeah. But, I mean, you hit them fast. That's, that's, that's the key to me. I always shoot fast. I do the same you know, with my bow. If fast. I take time to do any more than pull up and shoot, I'll miss. But those, those coming down from the back, everybody has trouble with those. I didn't know that, really. I'd never shot that one. I'm dead serious. That's the first time I'd done that. And you said it was hard, but it didn't Well, it's that hard, hard because, you know, you have to follow down with your gun and keep moving. Okay. And you pop them both. Get lucky once in a while. No, hold it. No, I mean, the reason I'm talking about this is because if I practice, yeah, I can be a pretty decent shot sure. and do hot dog stuff. But I think that next year at a fair or some shooting event, we could build something. Okay. Have you ever taken like four or five targets and thrown them up and tried to hit them before they hit the ground? Red ball taught me that. Yeah. Okay, so you can do that. Mm -hmm. I get I four. Like four. You can get four. Four, not five. If you can get four, you can get five. Well, I, four is the best I got. <laughs> Red taught me that. He taught you that too, though. I know that. Yeah. Red is good. But I'm okay. Red is good. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but you know, for next year, though, I think we had to talk about this. I think we had to develop a, a shooting show because you got the ability. And you practice. You go out to Kim's place. Yeah, a little shoot. bit. And 
Yeah. I don't choose much of this. I like the pheasant on, as you know. And mm -hmm. if you can hit birds, you can usually hit these. That's all. Uh, now, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I think you can hit birds, can't you? Huh. Oh, you, you do all right at that. I do all right yeah. at that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, when you got people watching and you're still able to shoot like that, no, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Thank you. you. Know, we're going to we're gonna put something together all right. on this. I like it. All right. What do you think, John? Yeah. I think the man has some ability here. Something was happening there. He got more than one. Oh, man. See, well, it, so did he, though, John. Give him a look, break. Look, <laughs> if, if we're both doing this together for the audience and one of us has an off day like I'm likely to have, you can carry it. Yeah. But do I have to carry it all See, the time? See, this, this would be like Martin and Lewis. <laughs> is this going to be something i got to carry every time, Fred? I mean, you're going to pull in once in a while? And... Yeah, but it'll sort of shake out like Martin and Lewis, oh, okay. you know, yeah. Rowan and Martin. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, Amos and Andy. Amos, yeah, that's exactly it. And <laughs> Beavis. Yeah, Beavis, Beavis and Butthead. Oh, Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I tell you, I did, and I know Rob did. We had a lot of fun together, and we are going to be together more often in the future. Now, this outdoor fair was really cool at the Livingston Archers in Brighton. We are having one more event this summer at the Livingston Archers. This is August 24th. We're calling this a Plan Ahead Saturday for deer hunters. We're going to be going through equipment checks on bows, muzzle loaders, rifles, shotguns with slugs. We're going to talk about field dressing and butchering deer, getting ready for deer season. So mark this on your calendar. We'll have details next week. We're calling it the Plan Ahead Saturday because, very frankly, a lot of us don't plan far enough ahead. But right now, let me redeem myself for my shotgun shooting, which is a little soft, but I'm going to take you out into the marsh grabbing turtles. Oh, okay, he just... Snapping turtles are dangerous. Nobody argues that. But Scott Ponce from Leroy catches them with his hands underwater by grabbing their tails. He wanted to teach me how to do it. Okay, now these, these paths through here, are these turtle paths or...? The wider ones going up through are turtle paths, um, but there's also uh, the ducks go up through there. Uh, they, come up through off, they come off the river and up and through here and go back through and then back on the river again. And... Uh, of course, that's and, where the turtles wait to ambush the ducks. Yep, they're ambushing them, yeah. The only bad thing about this pothole, right in here, if they're in here, it's too deep and sinky, and right here, we've got, we've got to get them on this edge and up through here because this is too deep. A lot of times they'll head to here. We've got to get them before they get here. We've got now, a little channel coming right through, and we've got to cut them off before they get here. Now, so we're not going to go in this way? No, we're going to go around over here, and we'll get a better look at it. We'll try to get him up, and we'll get a better... We'll be, get closer to him is what we'll do. So you figure that turtle is staying there. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. He's up again. There he is. He moved too. He's up again. Uh -huh. He's just to the right of that stick. The tip of that stick. Uh -huh. Just go to the right and you see a little open channel like where the ducks yeah. go through. Yeah. And you can just see his nose. <laughs> we'll get closer. Yeah. We'll get closer. They're hard to see. You gotta know it. A lot of times I use binoculars. Watch for the tips of their noses to poke above the water. Or you can attract their attention like Scott does, imitating an animal struggling in the water. They must think it's a duck, the only thing I can think of. You know, they think it's a meal, and they're trying to see where it is so they can either wait or... To... Sometimes, I've seen them come right at, you know, come toward the noise, too, in more open water. Oh, well, you want to give it a shot? There's a snap. There's a big one. Big one, yeah. Turn right around. You'd see this one. He's a pretty good... He's got a pretty... See, he's moving his head. You see it move right there. He moved to the right. That's a pretty good turtle. Oh, uh, there I saw yeah, some of the water, water move, yeah. The water just come off his neck, yeah. That's a, that's a pretty good snapper right there. So we're going to be real touchy trying to get him. Now, he pulled his head down fast, he did. didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Usually they don't. But there ain't no pain in guy head that big. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a big one. They usually, they generally get on slower. And how deep of water is he in, do you think? See the bubbles, see the bubbles. He's, he's, oh, got, yeah. he's moving, the bubbles are coming up. You see the bubbles coming up. He's moving toward the right. If he goes to the right, that's better because it's deep. Uh, he's in, we'll get wet, I'll get wet getting him. You got waders on, but we can go in and try him. See, he's moving to the right. You see all the bubbles going. Mm -hmm. He's just, that's better. Let him go to the right because it's, it's shallower. This turtle might be too deep, so we slip into a shallow area where we saw another snapper's nose a few minutes ago. Scott probes with a stick, trying to find the thunk of a turtle shell in the mud. Now, I provide the invaluable service of remaining calm and watching for bubbles that would let us know if the turtle is trying to scurry away. And if he goes, just, just stand still. I'm starting to get nervous now. <laughs> I really am feeling these sticks in here. This is not as... The best thing to do is let him, if he does go, is just let him go. And just hopefully he goes that way. What's this? Is that it? Okay. Is that it? He's going. Here okay. Goes. 
Yep. So still. Well, that's right, still right here. He's, got, he's right, by, right between my legs. Right up in there. Something. Let's see. Let's you. Something hit me. Right no, I right didn't. Right. I didn't move. He's right here. And I'm not about to move. Did you see him go? Yeah, I saw him. We gotta find him. Here, right back here. Right back here. Oh, there, yep. Uh, missing it, huh? Yes. He's keeping ahead He's of you. He's going to deep water. I got it up here. It's too deep. Uh, he may have... He stopped. He stopped right here. He may have come up in here. I saw some bubbles okay. up in here. Okay. See, I, when I, I got it, that's why I tried to get ahead of him. It's too deep right. See, that's why I said he tried to go to deep water. He's down by a little log right here. Come on. Now he might be in a snapping mode now, huh? Yeah, he'd be mad. Just be. There are bubbles all around here where, I guess just from where we've walked, but we think the turtle is right up in here. Oh, 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 I don't know, something's moving. Just hold still. I am going to hold still. Can you feel it now? Am I doing that? Is that you? Yeah, I'm moving <coughs> out right here. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. I feel better now. Okay. okay. He moved the log and scared me. Okay. Are you still moving it? Oh, it's under here! Jeez! Which way? I don't know, but it's behind me here. Let's go, let's go. Oh! Okay. That was not the log you were moving. <laughs> it was behind me here. Let's go. Okay. I have all of a sudden lost my... Let's go, let's go. Let me see if I can find you. Just stand right still and... I am. Was that it? No, oh, that's him! That's him! Because <laughs> he moved. He's right behind me. Let's go. Am I walking? <laughs> no, he is behind us. Okay. He's underneath. Okay. Yeah, he's down in the mud. Let me, let me try to help him. Yes. Please hook him. <laughs> oh. Oh. You got him. Okay, the turtle is here. Okay, let me step back here. No, go ahead, do what? What did he bite you? You got him? Oh! Oh, I don't... This is beginning to... I don't know if that's him or what. I... Oh. You have one under your foot? Oh. This is more exciting than... That I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Look at my wife over there. <laughs> oh. yeah, so you have one yeah, under your foot. I'm standing on it. I'm going to try to find out. He's a good one. Fine. Yeah, he's, a good, he's right down at the log, too. What, what are you feeling? You got his tail. You got his tail. <coughs> I say we got his tail. <coughs> Oh, man. Oh. oh, he was down in the mud. Oh, he was. Oh, look at that. Oh, Scott. Here. Here. No. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. oh, boy. Oh, sucker kept trying to bite me. Yeah. Watch, watch the hooks on me. Yeah, I am. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he snapped at the stick. Yes, yes. sir. Oh, he's not going to want to let go of this. Well, let's uh, take him back in. A job well yeah. done, Sky. Oh, I don't know if I have the heart for it. Where did you mark that big one? <laughs> it's still wow. on. Wow. This is something else. Oh, man. That's it. Hold him up there for John to show him. Kids, I want to remind you this is not something you want to try at home. Scott Potts has a way with snapping turtles. Hopefully, they'll never have their way with him. Jeff Payne from Flint was fishing up in Manuskong Bay. We often put that on the guide report, and there are some big fish that come out of there. If you don't believe it, look at this. This is August in the heat of the summer, 10.15 in the morning, a typical time to catch fish like this. It's a 27-pounder, 46 inches. Jeff, what's the story? Well, we went up there for uh, a week, and we went up on a Saturday, and here it was Friday. I hadn't caught a fish all week. All week. Oh, Not man. a bite, nothing. Oh, so, no. So we started out on Friday morning, and uh, my uncle Leonard Olson and his son here, my net man, they were putting on these big lures, these uh, musky killers, the met spinners and daredevils and... I was so disgusted with fishing that I just put on this little old bomber lure and was going to just kind of fart around and give it up, actually. Well put. And so they had 
I, he, we'd went through this pile of weeds and their, their rods all bent over and I'm thinking, okay, they got the weeds in there pulling the weeds off and I had this method I use. It's the drop your lure back about a half mile. Mm -hmm. I figure if you're going to get one fish, you want that half mile to fight it. So we go through there and all of a sudden my pole is bent over and I'm like, dang weeds. Reached over to pick it up and kind of doing like this, hoping it'll break loose from the weeds and all of a sudden it looking straight out behind the boat this thing came right out of the water mm -hmm. all the way out of the water so got it up to the boat and we're yelling fish on fish on back the boat up back the boat up so we get it back there and uh i'm sitting there thinking okay how are we going to land this this good sized fish and these guys are going get the gaff and the other ones get the net and i'm sitting there thinking is this beside the boat guys this is not a good time to be arguing about how we're going to land us <laughs> do something so he my net man here he landed it for me and as he was bringing it over the side of the boat, the net breaks, the handle breaks yeah. on it. So I'm kind of like throwing my pole down and almost climbing into water to get it. Wow. So I guess if you're only going to catch one fish, this is the one to catch. So You got your money's worth out of this. I got my money's worth out of that. Great. Drop back method paid off again. The, the drop <laughs> way back method. It's the way back. The way back. Okay, <laughs> Jeffrey Payne from Flint, you did well. And net man, he needed you bad <laughs> at that point. Congratulations. Big Lake Bouillabas. Now, this is a soup. You don't have to know how to spell it, but here's how to prepare it. Uh, this calls for perch fillets. Any kind of Michigan fish fillet would do, but you skin it, cut it up, set that aside for a moment, take a large saucepan with a tablespoon of olive oil, saute a quarter cup of green pepper, two tablespoons of chopped onion, and a clove of garlic, then add a 16-ounce can of tomatoes, 8 ounces of tomato sauce, half a cup of red wine, 3 tablespoons of chopped parsley, and some salt, oregano, basil, and pepper. Now you bring that concoction to a boil, smell it a little bit. Oh, it's going to be good. Simmer for 20 minutes. Add the pound of fish plus a small can of minced clams and a half pound of those, those little itty-bitty shrimp. Oh, they're good. They simmer all that for about 5 or 10 minutes more. That's a soup. It's called Big Lake Bouillabas. You can find it in the current Practical Sportsman magazine. Well, that recipe is in the new Practical Sportsman magazine. We're back on the monthly schedule now, so we'll have our next one out in just a few weeks. But you can write to us. Address will be coming up in just a moment. Take a look at the fishing around the state. Let's start down here. The Trenton Lighthouse, Detroit River, getting some limits of walleye, some good catches of perch. Uh, the Mill Creek Sports reports at Dexter Half Moon Lake is producing some good bass and pan fish. Musky, this is the time. That's where we're going to be tomorrow, hopefully catching some of these big ones in Lake St. Clair. Franks at Linwood reports some good perch fishing and a couple walleye per trip, four to six pound average. Oscoda, salmon and trout, four per trip and one or two walleye, but it's a six pound average. Bucks up in Alpena reports, look at the size of the lake trout, 20 to 25 pound average, man. Those are huge. This is a time for big fish in this state. Uh, Pat and Gary's Indian River, Mullet Lake, getting some pike and walleye. Drummond Island, these aren't huge fish, but this is just about the only time of year you can catch Cisco on the remnants of the Michigan mayflies. Over here, the other in the middle of the UP, now well, let's take it uh, Marquette. They're getting lake trout limits. That's up off Isle Royal. Uh, Jack, salmon are fair. Dick's favorite supports in Houghton reports lake trout limits. Walleye limits, at, but you know, down here in the west end of the UP, the fishing has been slow because of the weather. Little bay to knock down here, the walleye fishing has been slow because there are lots of alewives. See down here in Houghton Lake, get back down into the northern lower, look at that, perch are fair. Houghton Lake isn't really known for perch fishing, but they're getting some good catches and a couple walleye. Pilgrim Village, they're getting some walleye and largemouth bass up to 23 inches. I mean, that's a, that's a trophy size. Captain Amel reports, Big catch, or catches of big fish, but not big catches of fish. There was a 36-pounder off Frankfurt earlier this week. Paramarquette Sports, Ludington, they're getting limits of king salmon. Whitehall, walleye two to three, up to four pounds, uh, with some limits of trout, salmon, and perch. Best chance in Saugatuck reports trout and salmon ten or six to ten per trip. And Captain Nichols here in South Haven reporting some king salmon catches and perch. They're getting, oh, five to 17, Vicky says, 12-inch average, holy cow, foot-long perch. That's hard to believe, but that's worth going out for, and I hope you can get outdoors this weekend. Tell you, it's a great place to be. See you next week.
Well, let's uh, take him back in. A job well yeah. done, Sky. Oh, I don't know if I have the heart for it. Where did you mark that big one? <laughs> Wait, it's still wow. on. Wow. <laughs> this is something else. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll tell you, hold him up there for John to show him. Kids, I want to remind you this is not something you want to try at home. Scott Ponce has a way with snapping turtles. Hopefully, they'll never have their way with him.